Ireland's a nation steeped in history, but right now it's focused on the future. It's looking for opportunities in the midst of economic crisis. It wants to prove to the world that it's the innovation island, and that's why it's looking for help from some very important friends. The real issue is after you get over this short-term financial crisis, what do you do next? Ireland has to start looking forward for the next 10 or 20 years and say, we have to do something new and different. Craig Barrett and Ireland go way back. Investment from Intel and other US multinationals fueled the rise of the Irish economy. But now the Irish need to create their own global brands to come up with their own world-changing ideas. And once again, Craig Barrett's there to help. This is where the ITLG really plays an integral role looking back at Ireland, look at entrepreneurship in Ireland. How do you have indigenous growth? How do you get growth of Irish-based companies? And you have a series of executives who are in Silicon Valley where entrepreneurship is king, and trying to bring that experience, bring that capability back to Ireland. <laughs> WaveBob is an ocean wave energy converter. We do that specifically with a device that looks like a navigational buoy and then reacts against itself in a pumping fashion to generate pressure that we then use to drive a turbine and generate electricity. It's well recognised that Silicon Valley is, is the home of some of the greatest technology companies that, that, uh, that have emerged. Uh, so that kind of deep understanding of what it takes to scale uh, a technology company is really important. You know, clearly in, in the clean tech space, we're seeing um, probably half of the amount of clean tech investment in the US is coming from Silicon Valley. The ITLG in particular for us has been very important in giving us access into the Silicon Valley community. Uh, it's been important in terms of accessing uh, expertise and indeed John Hartnett, who, who has set up the ITLG, serves as uh, one of the directors on our board. So having somebody who's based in Silicon Valley with a broad network into a, a, a sensible, uh, experienced technology market is very important to us. Redmere is a technology company which uses semiconductors to take copper out of cables. The ITLG produces tangible results for companies like Redmere by focusing on the issues that are really important to us. There's a lot of talk about the tough macroeconomic environment at the moment. Forget it. Redmere and the ITLG share a common outlook, and that is to do what's necessary to deliver growth. SISAF has a breakthrough technology, which is a nano carrier system. Using our carrier system, we can improve safety and efficacy of active ingredients. A two very important and essential elements missing in a medical and market currently. Thanks to ITLG, SISAF is moving in fast speed. From a startup company going to medium-sized company, the licensing deal, which we were expecting take 10 years, reduce in two years. Perhaps this is the best reason why we think we need alliance such as ITLG. This is a state where so many people come from around the world and bring so much talent, and you are an example of that. The Irish have contributed so much with the companies and the innovation, and especially in Silicon Valley. And now for you to come over here and to open this center in San Jose and to bring 75 uh, people over here, business leaders from Ireland, and to establish shop here and to have form partnerships. And I have already said I'm looking forward going on a trade mission to Ireland. And I'm going to take you with me, Tom. OK, you can't get out of that one. I'm going to go over there with a trade mission because I love the idea of doing business. This is what it is all about. Irish pioneers in California and at home are grabbing the opportunities that come with crisis to set a new course, take risks, and reward homegrown innovation. What we need to do is to take that sense of risk-taking that those Irish entrepreneurs in Silicon Valley have and somehow translate that back here to Dublin, translate it back here to Ireland. We need that same sense of risk-taking here. Society needs to accept that model, that it's all right to take a risk, it's all right to fail, and that's the only way that Ireland is going to succeed. And that's what I think the ITLG is is should be very very good at we have the experience in the members to bring that capability back to ireland 
and to show what can be done.